I'm Madeline Lamira, and welcome to last lecture series. Today, we're speaking with Sarah Kenny, president of UVA Student Council. Welcome, Sarah. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Happy to have you. So I'll begin by asking, what is your major, and how did you select it? Absolutely, so I started off by declaring a government major, and then I was deciding whether I wanted to take on a second major in either that in school or um, the political philosophy, policy, and law program. So I applied to both of those, and it was a hard decision, but I ended up deciding to pursue PPL. Um, I started to get more interested in philosophy and kind of wanted a chance to read some more um, classic American works, um, a more theoretical approach before going to grad, grad school for something a bit more concrete, like the skills you get out of that. And, and then I'm also doing a minor in Women and Gender Studies, so the interdisciplinary approach of PPL gives me a lot of flexibility to explore classes such as feminist theory and um, gender and politics that have overlap between um, my different areas of study. So what skills has this major and minor provided you with your leadership role? How has it helped you? Absolutely. Um, my experience in PPL has given me practice with argumentation and um, the, the crux of the curriculum is focused on how well you can construct and defend an argument and learning to work with views and defend views that might be different than your own but following through the logic um, and, and how you make yourself persuasive and convincing and so that's a lot of my work on student council is um, finding points within the student body um, of interest to elevate to um, other kind of student advisory groups or administrators or faculty members um, and also kind of pulling out um, conflicts or um, areas of improvement that I see around the school that I can form into a persuasive argument. Great. And um, in addition to being on the student council, yeah. what other extracurriculars are you a part of and how do you manage the time with classes and those extracurriculars? Yeah, so I've really cut back um, for most extracurriculars at this point to focus on student council. Um, what I love about the job is that there's always a new project that I can be working on um, among our different committees. I can always plug into a different community um, at the university, a different area of projects. Um, but previous to this um, role, I spent a lot of time on community engagement initiatives, whether that was um, in a volunteering capacity with Madison House, um, or a day in the life through Curry, um, through research on community engagement, to now a more advisory role about um, how to integrate um, really constructive, introspective community engagement activities in the classroom, um, as well as some women's leadership um, kind of advisory through um, the council that I was on and just, just really plugging into different initiatives such as um, the Women's Global Leadership Forum that's coming up at the Bicentennial, playing an advisory role um, in that. Um, in that forum. And lastly, if you were to be a professor at the mm -hmm. university giving your last <laughs> lecture, what advice would you oh give gosh. your students? Um, don't get too comfortable. I think as a third and fourth year especially, it can be easy to settle into your groove, you're in a home, in a major, in your organizations, you have your friends, but I think keeping in mind the idea that you can be meeting someone who thinks differently than you, who comes from a different place until the very day you graduate, and seeking out those opportunities where you're challenged, where you're out of your comfort zone, where you're going to disagree with people, um, when all of that is right at your fingertips, um, is, is something to, to really embrace and go out of your way to do um, every day that you're in university. Thank you so much for being with us, Sarah. Thanks so much for having me. And thank you for watching this edition of Last Lecture Series.